can I make another observation um, about the game last yes, night? Can. Um, Kyle Jamison looked to me like he had the world on his shoulders. I honestly believe, um, you know, look, he's had a massive week. Let's be honest about that. Mm. He looked like a man under pressure to me. He looked like a man that felt the pressure of being the $3 million man. I don't think he bowled well at all. And I'm concerned because I think he's the most exciting prospect we've had in a long, long time of the old sort of adage, too much, too early, and and that he's going to start feeling the weight of those expectations because he didn't bowl well last night. No, he didn't. But do you mean too much money too early or too much cricket too well, early? Well, look, and this is going to be controversial because I'm a big fan of his, but I, I think it's a bad investment. I think $3 million for a young fellow like that who has yet to prove himself. Oh, he's proven himself. Forgive me. But over in those pitches over there, I think he's going to find it a lot more difficult I also believe, you know, he's a, bat- a batsman with some talent, but he's not a genuine all-rounder. I reckon they've overspent, guys. I reckon they've gone too big too early. Well, you know, it's the free market. So it is. First of all, they paid what they thought he was worth. Yes. And and they actually are quite statistics and an analysis heavy in the IPL. I'm so sure. Uh, one concern I do have is that uh, we want him to be the best test bowler in the world, and he's a long way along the line already at such a young uh, stage of his career to being that. My worry is that he tries to tailor his game because he's got this massive expectation now uh, of being a, a T20 player, that he tailors his game and he bowls a different length. And I've noticed that that length that he bowls in test cricket where batsmen have to hover in the back foot to and try and defend and have their gloves up around their chest in T20, you don't have that luxury, so they're, they're pulling that length. And yep. he, he looks like he's a little bit too short I agree. in T20 cricket. So I don't want him to change. That's my worry. I'm not worried about the money. I think I'll oh, fair play to the I, guy. I just, I, I'm only bringing up the money because of the expectations that it brings with it. You know, and, and how often do you see that scenario where you have a promising player coming through the ranks and all of a sudden people just pile on the expectations and they, and they really struggle with that because he's still a young fella. And he said yeah. it's been a hell of a week, Paul Ford. Yeah, that's right. And I mean, I guess, you know, it's going to be interesting because he's going to, if he's starting to feel the pressure, uh, you know, 24 hours or 48 hours after he's had that number put on his head, it's going to be intense, intensely um, increasing, I guess, once he gets over to India. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, there is a brilliant conspiracy theory that um, RCB only bought him to bowl to Coley in the nets so that he can get ready for test matches and that would actually work quite well for you Dylan you know a very highly paid net bowler yeah. he doesn't play too much I'd be able to mess up his uh, his uh, technique um, you know but uh, yeah I guess we've got we've got to wait and see I get what you're saying though Jace that yeah I, you feel you sort of feel sorry for the guy which is a weird feeling but um, you know maybe it's just a period of adjustment and maybe he hasn't had much sleep it's interesting when you look at that Aussie team you know in the IPL they value that's a nine million dollar team that we're playing and the New Zealand team which you're talking about four million dollars um, you know I guess a lot of that is sitting in uh, over Kyle Jamison's head so uh, at a pure T20 uh, free market um, level Australia should be destroying New Zealand in this 2020